here at Super Repair this morning looking for bucket shims for the WRX. Um, they have a lot. I don't know if you can see them, but they're all 500 plus. So none of these will work, I don't believe. This is some cool stuff here. It's H6 cylinder head. Some connecting rods, some cranks. This is where Tom builds his motors here. Yeah, let's check out Super Repair. They're a great resource if you need to use Subaru parts. They're awesome. Valves. So I got all of them. I need a 480, 481. It's the last one I'm looking for. I found the other group of uh, bucket shims here. What's up, folks? Today is July 5th, and today I am continuing to set the valve um, lash with these bucket shims and so I kind of measured them the other day with the feeler gauges today I am I forgot to actual measure actually measure the um, depth of the bucket shim itself like each one will say 490 or 500 500 on the bucket shim references a five millimeter height of the shim itself so a five 502 would be a 5.02 millimeter um, height of the shim. So I bought some fancy calipers. Bought some fancy calipers and I am measuring each one. And then I am writing them down. So you can see 486 was actually what was printed on the bucket shim. 482 was what I measured, 4.82 millimeters. I just did the right passenger side. I'm gonna do the left driver side now. So to start, I'm gonna remove the cam so I can get to the bucket shim. And now I'm doing, this is the, this is the driver's side head. I am gonna start with the exhaust side. So I'm just gonna pull this apart. Out comes the cam. This again is the driver's side exhaust cam. And here comes the first one. So you can see here if it'll focus, this one says 485 on it. So I got my method here where I just, I didn't want to buy the micrometer because they were like 20 bucks more and I'm cheap. So I just got the calipers and I've zeroed out the height of this bolt on here. So I'm just going to stack that inside the bucket shim. It's got a nice flat head on it. And then I'm going to measure. And this one's coming out to 4.81. Four point eight two millimeters. So this goes back in, and I write down what I got. Four eighty two. And we do it again and again and again. So that one's done. Clean this surface and put the cams back in. The cam, the exhaust cam. Make sure my cam spins real nice, and it does. Here comes driver's side intake valve. Driver's side intake cam. 
Okay. This is a 486. So I'm expecting like a 483. Four eight two. Four eight nine. And go four eight six. Four eight five. Boom. Four nine three. Four eight nine. Four nine two. That's that.